Personally, I'm someone that's a bit hesitant on the usage of these super popular AI chatbot programs. I like doing things the good old fashioned way, and I thought for a long time that was the correct way to go about everything. But with BART's implementation of the Gemini Pro machine learning model, I really wanted to see what the hype was all about, and to my surprise, there are some genuinely useful benefits to this new technology that people should be taking advantage of. So if you're new to AI or have never used BARD before, let me me go over the five most practical use cases and if any of these you find helpful, a quick subscribe is always appreciated. All right, and first things first, if you are brand new to BARD, you should know access is only available through the website bard.google.com, but the mobile version of the website works really well, and if you want to use it on your Android device, just pull up the site in Chrome, hit the three dot menu, and select the add to desktop option. Doing that will show an icon on your screen as if you downloaded it from the Play Store. Obviously, it just opens up to the web page, which will definitely get the job done, at least for now. Moving on, let me tell you about the most practical use cases I found with BARD and first definitely has to go to meal planning. If you're a young adult like me, you're probably ordering takeout way more often than you should, but lately BARD has made it super easy to cook at home when I have the time. Using BARD, all I have to say is give me breakfast ideas, for example, and you immediately get a handful of super accessible recipes with a general idea on what that recipe entails. To take it a step further, BARD is also capable of getting into the specifics so you can get into more personal detail like show me vegan only options, show me budget friendly, healthy, or easy to make meals. To my surprise, you can even specify it by location. So if you wanna buy groceries or cook based on seasonal availability, BARD can give you some great choices to pick from in less than 30 seconds. Shopping is another practical use case with BARD and this year it was way more helpful than I even realized. For example, I'm in the market for a new gaming mouse that's wireless and charges via USB-C like everything else I own and plugging that request into BARD gave me a ton of options. As you can see, I get suggestions in every price range, a quick summary of the pros and cons while also kind of getting an idea for the industry standard regarding gaming mice. Of course, the onus is on me to actually do the research and dig into the finer details to see which one of these actually fits my needs, but for now I have a great starting point for my future research, especially from someone that didn't even know the best mice to get in the gaming world. To my surprise, another big benefit I found was asking Bard to show you things to do at a certain location. For example, I plan on visiting some new areas over the holidays, and in my case, asking Bard for information gave me a ton of suggestions for trails, museums, and notable things to eat in the area while giving tips to maximize my trip. This same request for information also works with a specific town or borough. In my case, I used to live in a small neighborhood in Philadelphia called Fishtown, and if I search for things to do in that area, you can see a ton of results pouring in, all of which seem like helpful recommendations, especially if you've never visited the area before. Next up, integration with Google services is another insanely useful benefit BARD has up its sleeve with the ability to connect with YouTube, Gmail, Maps, Google Search, and much more. You have to manually enable this function in the extensions tab of BARD, but once you do, you can ask for a lot, like a curated summary of your most important emails for the week. At that point, BARD will analyze your Gmail account for what seems important and give you a breakdown with the subject, date, and a brief summary. That same integration also works with other Google services like YouTube, for example, where you can ask for music from a specific artist with a specific feeling or ask for good video suggestions on a certain topic. And on top of all of that, there is a lot more to work with like Google Maps integration, the ability to quickly generate news stories for the day, or even search your Google Drive for a specific document and give you a summary if needed. Honestly, there are probably a ton of aspects I'm missing regarding Google app integration but if that's important to you in the slightest, I heavily encourage you to test it out and see what use cases you come up with. Finally, the last practical use case I wanted to share with you guys is writing with BARD. 
To be clear, I'm a believer in using AI as a tool to assist whatever work you're doing and not outright replacing it. With that in mind, all of my work is peer reviewed as well, but asking Bard to review my work before I push it up the chain is super satisfying. In my workflow, I found it to be really useful to type a paragraph and ask Bard what ways I can improve the writing. In the circumstances where I did this, I was truly surprised at the results as Bard would often recommend me to give more specific details if I was lacking them or to give more personal anecdotes to better explain my position on things. On top of that, Bard is really useful for grammar checking, reviewing the writing to make sure it's clear and concise, or to make sure you're expanding your vocabulary by suggesting words that may better fit the description. To me, this was by far the most useful aspect of Bard since I can get a lot more work done without having to involve other people so early in the process. Basically, if you write for a living in any way, definitely check out Bard to see if it can help. So on a weekly basis, these are the five most common use cases I stumbled upon during my time testing out Bard. As a first time AI chatbot user, I was honestly surprised at the capability of Bard and that was the inspiration for making this video. To show other new users such as myself how to get genuine value out of the rapidly growing AI industry. With that said guys, leave a comment and let me know how you found these prompts to be helpful, if at all, and let us know if you discovered anything new that other people in the comment section might want to know about. In the meantime guys, I'm getting out of here. This has been Jordan Floyd with 9to5 Google. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.